Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are made. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the lessons. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed the people, you Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by your own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him but you rejected the holy and righteous one and asked to have a murderer given to you, and you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses, and by faith in his name, his name itself, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. The word of the Lord.
first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The word of the Lord. Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus stood among the disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened, and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. 
Inquire, I beg your indulgence that my back is going to be towards you with the camera in front. So, mea culpa. <laughs> Good morning, saints. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. You will be hearing a lot of that from me because it is Easter tide and we are going to be saying that all through Pentecost. So, hallelujah, Christ is risen. Amen. God bless this church. So, good morning. My name is Eric Petroye. I am a priest of the church and honored to be here working as a partner in ministry with Reverend Kira during Reverend David's sabbatical. And as we had noted at the 8 o'clock service, preparing to walk in, and thank you for that, my good partner, Rev, that just because Reverend David's on sabbatical does not mean you are on sabbatical. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you in all the Sundays in church. So thank you for being here today. I serve the church in an interesting way. Um, I am a supply pastor in the Episcopal, and Luther, Episcopal Diocese and the Lutheran Synod. And it always is, as my late daddy would have pointed out, uh, the circuit riding preacher. So for those who wasted way too much of your years, and I show my age by saying in front of black and white TVs, watching Randolph Scott in a black suit running a single car going from church to church across the Wild West. And if that doesn't make sense, keep in mind we are still in the Wild West of its own making. So I have a bunch of, and this is what I do, I cover people's vacations and sabbaticals, it's been, I've been doing this for a year and a half. It's been a rare and great privilege to be able to serve the church and giving a chance for our pastors, our clergy, to have a chance to be in vacation, but even more so for some time and quiet reflection and being recharged to be able to serve us. So again, this is a rare privilege, even more so that I get to return to St. Mary the Virgin. Some of you may know my beloved who is in the choir and I and our son have been in this parish since 1993. I think, dare I say, remembering being in the courtyard, going through the lich gate and having Dick Fowler, the blessed uh, father Richard Fowler, follow us through the lich gate and reminding us to come back next week. <laughs> and we did. Our son was baptized, you probably remember him, he was baptized twice in the pond, looking for fish underneath all the vegetation. He is a course under, under the Secours. Thank you very much for bringing that great gift to him, serving in this church. And I do remember a photo of the St. Mary's Choir maybe three years ago when he somehow came home from his posting um, in Dam River to sing in the choir for Easter, because what else would a good chorus do? So that is us. It is our family parish, and it is wonderful for me to have this rare privilege for being back. So thank you for inviting me to return for the next several months. We don't get to do this much as priests, because God has sent us out to serve the wider church, so it's wonderful that we're here. So now, the book of Acts. It is one of the great books of the Bible, one I love because it describes the building of our beloved church. 2,100 years ago, a band of probably just under two dozen people after Jesus' crucifixion were hiding, discouraged that the rabbi they had followed was now dead. And for those who were hiding in the upper room, or the women of Jerusalem, Mary, Salome, Mary, who actually witnessed the death and seen the empty tomb, was in this moment of where do we go from here? In our Eastertide lectionary, for these great 50 days, we will be hearing a lot of the book of Acts. And also, somehow, in the wisdom of the lectionary, the lead is buried. We are in chapters 3, 4, 10, 15, when the Holy Spirit comes in chapter 2. So bear with it. Pentecost is coming. We are going to talk, we will learn about the coming of the Holy Spirit 
in all the languages of the parish, but not yet. We also have and some challenging passages in that we will wrestle. Fred Craddock, the great, the late great teacher of homiletics at Kendall Seminary, great disciples pastor, I remember hearing, never run from the gospel, and this is a perfect example. Because this very chapter is a cautionary note of the anti-Jewish descriptions in the book of Acts, anti-Jewish descriptions from people who are Jews, such that purport to blame the execution of Jesus was all on the head of the Jewish people, ignoring that this was a trial under a Roman overseer, that this was agreed to by temple authorities, and blaming the people who probably were not even in the square during this conversation for what happened. But sadly, this is the conversation and this passage is used to blame Jesus' death and has been the source of pogroms and executions and exclusions over the millennia. But keeping in mind that in our light and shadow also lies the wisdom of our scripture, the guiding light of our saints and our own selves, and in that recognition, it is a chance for us to actually turn towards Jesus and away from these dark sides of ourselves that wrap themselves in division and hatred and instead return to, as St. John taught us in the Gospels, to love one another as I have loved you. So with that preamble, in this beginning of the Easter church that we are in, Here's today's story. What well, we didn't read. First cha act, Acts chapter 3 in the beginning. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple in the hour of prayer at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. A man lame from birth was being carried in. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. He had a spare dollar for me, a small bit of silver. Peter looked intently at him with John and told him, look at us. He fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something. But Peter's response was, I have no silver or gold, but I have what I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And jumping up, he stood and began to walk and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And then comes our passage, which is a polemic reminding people why in the name of the Christ who they, who they crucified was the beginning of the church. Quote, I know you acted in ignorance as did your rulers. Repent. Therefore, turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. So here is the start of the Easter church. Here is the start of who we are as a Christian community. Peter, Saints Peter and John did this astonishing act of making the lame walk in the name of Christ. Incredible. And St. Peter goes out into the crowd telling speeches of how this happened, that if you repent from your old ways and turn towards God, your life will change as you learn from Jesus. And as Jesus taught us today, turn to God. Turn to receive that grace that God so freely offers us and the way that Jesus has taught us to share in these post-Easter moments in these great 50 days. Remember Easter? It was three weeks ago. I was about to say the Easter egg hunt, but we didn't have an Easter egg hunt here. I was at another church that had an Easter egg hunt. 75 children showed up. I was almost run over because my <laughs> prayers and the eggs that were in front of them held them back, but not very well. But it was an amazing day with color and music and light and 
joy from the vigil onto the services of Easter Day, of Easter eggs and, cho and Cadbury chocolates and bunnies that still had ears on them, and marshmallow peeps. I love peeps. But at this point, three weeks later, the eggs are probably egg salad, deviled eggs, or even worse, they're still in a Tupperware in the back of the refrigerator. And please don't open them too quickly. <laughs> the chocolate ones are definitely consumed. And the marshmallow peeps are still purple, turning green and very stiff. And you need to bury them in the backyard and hope no one finds them again. And that feeling of joy and pleasure that we had at Easter of goodwill towards all, well, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving back from southern Maine to Logan Airport through beautiful Revere on Route 1 in the north shore of Massachusetts and saw that lovely, joyous Chris Easter feeling in all the other drivers who ensured that I would always be behind them on the highway <laughs> with that Christian love and charity of ensuring I was the third one after the stoplight. I could not turn into the Hess station to fill up with gas so I could avoid the $10 a gallon charge that Hertz was so kind to offer me for leaving a half tank, and especially ensuring not to make sure I got out of there. With that love and Christian charity, we know that in faith, with the new life of Christ, we can turn our minds towards Jesus. In this moment of resurrection, we turn our minds towards Jesus. Like the old hymn saying, I woke up this morning with my mind staying on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind staying on Jesus. In resurrection, we get to turn ourselves back towards Jesus, repenting or changing our lives from what they were to what they could be. Rob Bell, one of the great new young pastors, well, not so young, the 90s were Clinton two days, way a while ago, I guess. But Rob Bell was part of a group of young evangelical pastors with beards and tattoos who took the church back into the parts of the cities around the country of Seattle, New York, Philadelphia, Chicago, bringing the gospel faith back to the people of their age in the 20s and 30s, making it more relevant, more connected to the times that they were in. They wore glasses much more full than mine, they knew how to work on video. They knew how to talk to technology speak. And he had a video blog called Resurrection. And in that blog, he reminded us that in resurrection, everything changes. And in resurrection, everything matters. To understand the empty tomb is to understand that the dead no longer stay dead in resurrection that new life has begun in resurrection, and that Jesus has invited us into a new life in him, in his teachings, in following the rabbi from Nazareth, into changing our ways and our world into his world, his beloved community that he has created for us, and that all of our actions in this changing time matter. And more so because of our faith and our full belief in resurrection brings us forward. Resurrection is our alt control delete of rechanging the code of our lives. And yes, I, maybe it's not alt control delete anymore. I was raised on DOS 3. But it was that reset of who we are into people that, of who we could be. This is the story of the book of Acts. This is the story that this Easter season gives us at this time to be a new set of who we could be. In resurrection, in this Easter church that we live in, 
comes grace and the power of resurrection. I love the book of Acts. As someone who consults church planters and evangelists in our, in our beloved mother church, it's reminding them, let go of all of this to get back to the book of Acts. Let go of all the things that hold us back from becoming truly the people that God has intended us to be, full of faith without fear. You want to know fear? Think of the disciples in a closed room, and Jesus shows up and says, and shows up and says, I am here. Well, buddy, I'm glad you're here, but, you know, I wasn't at the foot of the cross. You know, I kind of took off. And Peter, something about the cock crows three times, good old standby Peter, I will deny you three times before the cock crows, and then he disappears for a week. And there's Jesus. And Jesus shows up. If you can imagine how your, friends, how your friend felt when he said, I'm going to pick you up from the SFO, and you show up 12 hours later. <laughs> yeah, Frankie is not the start of it. But that is not who Jesus is. That is not what Jesus taught. And he's told them, peace be with you. This is the Easter church to teach them how to change their lives. And that we accept in God's beloved grace that we accept that grace and change our lives to follow to follow in him. In this resurrection, this all-controlled belief of resetting our lives into this Easter church that we are building, I would advise us, as I've told our, advised our evangelists, to hold on to those very basics of Love one another as I have loved you. To support one another in the work that we do. And be, in turning our way back towards Jesus, be the examples of the better life we can be to everyone we meet, including that lame man on the street. Rob Bell finished his video blog reminding us that in resurrection, everything we do in our life matters. Resurrection says every act of compassion we do, it matters. Every work of art that we create and celebrate and is a beauty and good and true, it matters. Every honest business transaction we conduct, it matters. Every kind word matters. Every act of goodness matters. And when we accept how much this matters, we can walk into that old hymn. Walking and walk, walking with my mind, staying on Jesus. Walking and talking with my mind, staying on Jesus. Let the church say. Amen. Standing, let us affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God.
the prayers of the people. God of promise and hope, we bring forth our prayers to you. We pray for the church. Empower it to follow in your example, boldly proclaiming your living presence in our world. Christ is risen, that we all might be one. We pray for the world and those countries in war and conflict. Provide safety to humanitarian aid workers. Inspire the leaders of the world to seek justice that restores in the face of persecution and redeems all who falter, embracing peace and lasting reconciliation. Christ, Christ is risen, that all may act with integrity and courage. We pray for creation in all its totality. Awaken in us a sense of wonder for the earth. Protect its fragility and be an agent for its renewal. Christ is risen, that the purposes of all creation might be fulfilled. We pray for this community. Grant us open and patient hearts to walk alongside our neighbors and be always ready to receive you in our midst. Christ is risen, that we might serve and love one another as God loves us. We pray for those who are suffering including Natasha, Margaret, Teresa, Dan, Randy, Judith, Giancarlo, Peter, Catherine, Elaine, Walter, Gloria, Susan, Robert, and others you may name aloud or in your heart. Fill us with the power to be a source of comfort and a fount of your healing presence. During this week of Holocaust remembrance and anniversary of Rwandan genocide, we pray for all who have died, including Dan Boring, Stuart Murray, Daniel Jordan, Lawrence Wacha, Penny Roses, Anne Pencil, Margaret Burke, Barbara Renfrew, Susan Cannon, John Wright, Ray Kilding, and others you may name aloud are in your hearts. Grant them eternal rest and lovingly surround those who mourn with the hope of your promise in life everlasting. God of promise and hope, we glory in your power and give thanks for your son, Jesus Christ, the pioneer of our salvation, who is with us always, one of us, and yet one with you. Look favorably upon us that we might flourish in your life-giving grace and be restored to perfect unity with you and all creation through him who died for us and rose again. Amen. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And also Please greet one another with a sign of God's peace. just a moment. We've got a few announcements for you. Uh, thank you for being here this morning. If you are new or visiting us, a special welcome to you, and I hope you'll tell us a little bit more about you. Fill out that newcomer's card in the pew or on the welcome table outside so we can get to know a little bit more about you and stick around for fellowship and coffee 
after the service as well. Uh, we are so glad to welcome the very Reverend Eric Matoye for the next few months. And as a help to him and really to all of us, if you've got a name tag, now would be a great time to, to dust that off, find it again, sign up for a new one if you lost yours. Uh, so we can, Eric can get to know you all, not just with faces, but with names as well. His sermon teed up our Bible study beginning today at 1230 up in the library. Grab a sandwich from down the street and uh, join us upstairs in the library to learn a little bit more about this wild and adventure-packed book where the Holy Spirit takes the disciples all over the place. Uh, so get to join us for that uh, for the next several weeks. So if you miss a week, you can always come a different week. Uh, stay around, stick around right after the service for that. Uh, new technology, as this is a time when people are kind of in and out and traveling and here and there, uh, you can subscribe to St. Mary's Sermons on Spotify. <laughs> or if you want to share a sermon with somebody or you want to revisit a sermon that you really liked but you didn't catch that one part, you can find it on Spotify as well as on our website. So that is a cool new thing. Thank you to Nancy Clothier, our webmaster, for figuring that out. Uh, coming up, the ordination of our bishop-elect, Austin Rios, a huge event in the life of the diocese. It's not too late to sign up to attend that service on May 4th. You can do that up through the end of today. And also, if you're coming and you are a baker, you really like to bake cookies, uh, Debbie Beach, a faithful member of our congregation, has been very involved in that, uh, that process of electing and obtaining a new bishop for us. Uh, and she is uh, part of the reception, is providing cookies. So if you would like to be a part of that service in that way, you can sign up more information in the bulletin. You can also become a pen pal for an incarcerated woman through Hope Beyond. Maybe you read this week's theological reflection in your email and you thought, gosh, what a powerful testimony to what this ministry can do, not only for other people, but also for your own spiritual life. More information in the bulletin. Our young professionals are having a potluck. If you're in your 20s or 30s and you're looking for people that have the same values as you, you want to get to know more people at St. Mary's, I hope you will join us at, for that on April 27th uh, for dinner. And parish retreat registration, it is coming up, it is filling up, uh, but it's not too late to sign up, and you can always also join us for just that Saturday if you want to come up to the Bishop's Ranch. Uh, not for the whole weekend, you only have that Saturday. There is a day rate, uh, so go ahead and get signed up for that. Now, as we turn our attention to this table, a reminder that it is not my table or the table of St. Mary's or the table of the Episcopal Church but it is Christ's table, and he sets it for all who hunger and thirst for him. And now let us walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By Christ's death, he has destroyed death. And by Christ's rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, Almighty God, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in Christ. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with the ever-blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. By Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Please stand for our post-communion prayer. Let us pray. O God, our life and our hope, we thank you that in these sacred mysteries we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for one another. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work, working in you that which is well-pleasing in God's sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Alleluia. Let us go forth in the name of the risen Christ. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Thank you. 